So I just have a quick question for you. Like, have you ever heard about this disease called trichomoniasis? Please let me know in the comment section, like, if you've heard about this or that you know about this particular disease. So like, if you haven't heard about this particular disease, I'm sure you must have clicked this video just to watch and to get information on this particular disease. So like, in this video, I'll be telling you all you need to know about this trichomoniasis. Like, yeah, I'll be telling you every detail that you need to know. So please stay with me till the end of this video. So my name is Grace and I make videos based on my learning experiences as a medical laboratory science student and also my general life experiences. So like I said, in this video, I'll be telling you everything you need to know about trichomoniasis. So first of all, I actually group this in like, you know, different categories. So the first thing you need to know about this infection or this disease, like this is a sexually transmitted infection. That is one thing you need to know about this particular infection. So like I said, I grouped this in categories. So first, we have the curses. So this infection, it is caused by a parasite. So this parasite is known as the um, Trichomonas vaginalis. This is a parasite that causes this particular infection. So this parasite, if, I, if it actually gets into your body, it goes like it inhabits, like it creates a house for itself in your reproductive organ. So that is one thing you need to know about the causes. And the mode of transmission, which is the second thing I'll be covering now. So this is, you know, like the name implies, sexually transmitted infection. So you can get it through intercourse, sexual intercourse, having vaginal sex. This is, you know, the way you can actually get this infection. And you can also get it, you know, by sharing, you know, sex stories. Wow. Yeah, you can get it by sharing sex stories. You can get it also by, you know, keeping multiple sexual partners. That is another way that you can actually contract this infection. So like when you have this infection, this is a likely symptom like you know the person is going to see. So I'll be covering for the ladies first and the first thing that you will notice like you would have a foul smelling discharge. You know when you have discharge it is not your usual type of discharge, it is smelly, it even has a greenish yellow tinge you know to this particular discharge. You know this can tell you that there is a problem you actually have an infection so you actually need to go and check you know check yourself like if that can be the likely infection so another thing you also have you know painful sex you also get to experience like painful urination you also experience itchiness down there it's something else that you're going to see so for the guys first of all we have that you also have you know painful urination so you have pains during sex you can also have itchiness so one bad thing about this particular infection is that you know when you have this infection like it actually keeps you at a higher risk of contracting AIDS like it also makes you vulnerable to other diseases other sexually transmitted diseases so but the good thing about this yeah <laughs> the good thing about this particular infection that it is the most common infection that is easily treatable like you can actually treat it just by taking you know some medications like when you actually get diagnosed for this particular infection it is very easy to treat and also you know if you're pregnant and you actually have this infection like it can actually cause you preterm labor it can cause you you know to have low birth weight it can cause you know some other complications as regards to your pregnancy so it is good that you know you go and get checked and you know the interesting thing about this disease is that many people are asymptomatic like a lot of people out there they actually have this but they don't know and this is not you know your common std like we all know about the gonorrhea the syphilis the you know um, all those ones that we've always known from childhood so you may not have you know come across it personally I came across this in school while I entered school and started studying so yeah you may not know that you're a carrier and as you actually have all this particular infection like you're distributing this to so many people and you wouldn't even know so it is good you know when you go to the hospital when you notice any of the symptoms like you actually go and check it's like you test for you know to see if you have this parasite inside of you yeah it is very very important that you actually start to treat this on time yeah this is like you know everything you need to know about this trichomoniasis so 
yep the best way for preventing this is having safe sex you know it is one of the best ways if you're actually ever going to dodge it that so you need to have safe sex you need to like be loyal to one partner you know instead of having multiple sexual partners you need to you know also check yourself regularly and yep i really hope you enjoyed this video please let me know in the comment section like if you have any questions pertaining to this particular disease condition let me know what you think about it in the comment section and let me also know like i said if this is your first time hearing this disease in the comment section let me know all this and if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up you subscribe to my channel and you turn on the post notifications so that you will get notified for when i drop new videos and i'll see you guys in my next video